In the last video lecture, we did an example on the types of loads based on direction. Let's take some more examples on this. In this video, we'll be taking four examples in order to brush up our basics. In example one, we have to find out the types of load in members AB, BC and CD as shown in the figure. For the member DC, load P is along the longitudinal axis and normal to the surface. Therefore, for the member DC, load P is an axial load. Let's write it down. For the members BC, load P is parallel to the surface and passing through the longitudinal axis. Hence, for load BC, the load P is transverse shear load. For member AB, the load P is parallel to the surface but does not pass to the longitudinal axis. Therefore, for member AB, load P is eccentric axial load. Now, Let's go for the second example. Find out the types of the loads in members AB, BC and CD as shown in the figure. Let's go for the solution part. The solution says that for the members DC, load P is parallel to the surface and passes through the longitudinal axis. Hence, for the load DC, load P is transverse shear load. For the member BC, the load P is normal to the surface but does not pass through the longitudinal axis. Hence, for the member BC, load P is eccentric axial load. Now, for the member AB, load P is parallel to the surface and through the longitudinal axis. Hence, for the member AB, load P is transverse shear load. Now, let's go for the third example. Find out the types of load in member AB, BC and CD as shown in the figure. Let's check out the solution. For the member DC, the load P is normal to the surface and passes through the longitudinal axis. Hence, for member DC, the load P is transverse shear load or also we can call it as TSL. For member BC, the load P is normal to the surface but does not pass through the longitudinal axis. Hence, for the member BC, the load P is eccentric transverse shear load or eccentric TSL. Now for the member AB. The load P is normal to the surface but does not pass through the longitudinal axis. Hence, for the member AB, the load P is eccentric transverse shear load. Now, we'll go for the example number 4. Find out the type of load in the rod and liver due to load P, Q and R. Let's check the solution. Now, let's check out the solution. For the liver load P is transverse shear load because it is parallel to the surface and passing through the axis. Hence, we can say that P is transverse shear load. We can also write it as TSL. Hence, load P is nothing but TSL. For the rod, the load P is normal to the surface but does not pass through the axis. Hence, for the rod, the load P is eccentric axial load. Similarly, for the load Q, which is normal to the surface of the liver and passes through the axis, hence, load Q is axial load for the liver. Now, for the rod, 
the load Q is parallel to the surface and passes through the axis. Hence, for the rod, the load Q is transverse shear load. Now, for the load R. For the lever, the load R is parallel to the surface and passing through the axis. Hence, the load R is transverse shear load for the liver. Now for the rod, the load R is parallel to the surface but does not pass through the axis. Hence, the load R is eccentric transverse shear load for the rod. So, in this lecture, we took some examples of the types of loads based on direction. In the next video lecture, we take some more examples that were asked in the previous year examinations. Thank you for watching the video. Please do like and subscribe our channel, Ikira.